Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Reef Tech Century and welcome back to finally a new video. I think it has been almost a week now, which is very unusual for me, but just stressed out because of work. And so here we see my new 27 inch monitor that will actually basically replace the iMac as a display and then will be hooked up to my new Mac Pro that's hopefully released very soon. This is, I have no idea how to pronounce it, I think the Ijama ProLite XB2779QS monitor. This is a 27 inch monitor. We see some of the key specifications right here. So it is an IPS panel, also WQHD resolution of 2560 times 1440. It's LED backlight of course has VGA, DVI, HDMI and display port input. Also height adjustable stand and speakers that are built in. So that's definitely great to see. It's mostly silver and then has a glossy black surface to it. So not really a piece of glass, but I think it's just plastic. So those are the key specifications. Honestly, I wasn't aware that this even had speakers, which is a nice surprise. But now let's actually get into the unboxing. You see how big the box is. So I'll just show you piece by piece what's coming in the box and then the monitor in the end. So I hope that you'll enjoy this new video. So now we're here on the desk and while I still don't have any clue how this company is pronounced, at least the accessories are nice. So first up we of course get the safety guide as well as like quick instructions and also for the warranty. Then next up we are going to get through the cables. So here we actually have a display port cable. Now that this monitor has display port is quite important actually because only display ports really support 2560 times 1440 resolution. Otherwise you'd have to use dual link DVI, which the adapters can be very expensive. I think the Apple adapter for DVI or dual link DVI is around 100 bucks. So that's pretty insane. I don't really have any use for this display port cable at the moment because the Mac Pro as well as my MacBook Pro only support mini display port, but actually you can pick up a mini display port to display port adapter for like 10 bucks on Amazon. And then you also have a three meter cable included. So I actually ordered this separately. Next up, we actually get a 3.5 millimeter cable to actually connect this to your PC to actually then use the speakers of the system. Of course, if you use HDMI, then the audio is already transported through HDMI. But if you, for example, use VGA, then you can still use the audio cable itself. Then next up, I believe we have the DVI cable. There it is. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic because as I mentioned, I have no use for it at all. I'll just use the separate cable that I ordered, the mini display port to display port cable. And then last but certainly not least, we actually have the power cable, which is quite important and which I'll definitely take out of the packaging because otherwise it's unlikely that this monitor will work. So here we see, of course, the German power plug because I'm living in Germany and then just the standard plug on the other side. So it's good to see that you don't have an external power brick. It's already built into the monitor itself. And this also wraps up the accessories. Actually, there was one little pouch uh, where there was like screws included for the stand, but I already removed that, so sorry for that. So due to the magic of video editing, we are now actually already here on the back of the panel. And on the left side, we'll actually see the AC power in. Also very nice that all of the ports are labeled as you see it right there. So there isn't any confusion which port is which. And so we have the power in right there on the left side. Now, when we move to the right side of the back of the monitor, then we actually see the rest of the ports. Again, very nicely labeled. So we'll find display port on the left, then VGA, DVI, HDMI, the audio in, as well as the headphone jack. Also, for those who care, we actually do have Kensington Lock here on the monitor. So if you're, for example, in a work environment or maybe on trade show, then you can still use this monitor and actually secure it. So this is the back of the monitor, the total back. And we already see, of course, the stand is already attached. And actually that was already in the box. So it's already attached in the box with those four screws that you see right there. Also important to know is that you can actually remove this stand and then you have a visa mount. And this is the visa standard 100. So for example, you can mount a two monitor arm, just a wall mount or whatever you want. And that's also what I have planned. So very important, this monitor does have visa mount compatibility built in. Also for those that want neat cable management, 
yes, this stand actually has a hole where you can just put the cable through to actually have a decent cable management. So before actually showing you guys the monitor, I thought it would be a good idea to actually show you the cable that I'm using to connect this to my new Mac Pro or also to my MacBook. So if you want to purchase this monitor, for example, with a Mac Mini, a MacBook, or also then the new Mac Pro, then this cable is what you need to get a cheap solution to actually get the full 2560 times 40 and 40 resolution. As you see right there, this is a three meter cable, actually just display port to mini display port. So let's take this out of the packaging. As I mentioned, you can pick this up at least in Germany here from Amazon for around 10 euros. And this is three meter long. So of course you could also get one that isn't quite as long for a cheaper price. So here we then see just display port, the regular one. And then on the other side, we just see mini display port. So this will allow you to connect this monitor or any other 27 inch WQHD monitor to your MacBook or also your other Mac. So now here we actually have the monitor all set up and you can already see the picture is very nice and also very bright and I'm very impressed from the first impressions. A couple of negative aspects that I found is that actually the screen itself is only covered in a plastic bag. So there were so many smudges on the screen itself. I wish they would, I don't know, maybe put a protective layer on there. Maybe also just plastic that sticks to the screen so that there isn't any issues. I also heard of a couple of people that actually had scratches on the screens, which definitely sucks. Now you can honestly definitely tell that, especially here, this lower portion isn't metal, it's just plastic that's silver. Now, of course, that fits kind of nice in my setup as it is right now, but certainly in terms of quality, this can't really compete with something like a cinema display, especially from the build quality and also just the materials. But then again, this monitor retails for around 480 euros, which is almost half the price of a cinema display. The resolution of 2560 times 1440 is amazing. Also, you can, of course, adjust this in height as well as also the angle that you look at the monitor. And you also have a lot of inputs like HDMI, display port, also DVI. So you can connect your gaming console to it. And I heard that the um, response time is actually around eight milliseconds, so that should be fine. And I'm really looking forward to using this monitor. So let me know what you think about this. Also, the cable management, as you see right there, pretty much sucks. So I have to find a different solution than actually using the hole in the stand. But just let me know what you think of this monitor. I'm very pleased so far. And on a side note, the Retina MacBook Pro, at least in terms of 2013, only supports two external displays. I just came from a call with Apple Care and they said only two displays are supported. So if you try to hook up three display, which I tried to do, one stays black. So only two displays are supported with the Retina MacBook Pros. And so this wraps it up. I'm glad to be back. I can tell you that a lot of exciting content coming featuring the Moto G, the LG G2 and many more products. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe for many more content and also leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this monitor in the comment section down below. See you next time.